Hello. Today we are reading from the book of Romans, chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. And this is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. And today is Friday, October the 14th. Here's the word of the Lord. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace into which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. You see, at just the right time when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person some might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for this and this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For if, while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Not only is this so, but we also boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is titled, Lunar Atrocities, and it's written by Andrea Talley. Here's what she writes. Mama, why do, the, why do people think the moon is made of cheese? I tried to explain to my daughter that because of the moon's craters, some thought it resembled a wheel of cheese. This must have disturbed her because she promptly apologized to God that there were some people who thought his creation was made of a popular dairy product. To her, this was an atrocity that needed to be reconciled. I doubt God is worried about humankind's perception of the moon. However, he is greatly concerned about the atrocity of sin. So concerned, in fact, that he sent his only son to die on the cross so that everyone could be brought back into a right relationship with our Creator. Today's text is all about the peace and hope that is ours when we say yes to freedom in Christ. We should boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. When was the last time you boasted about your God? Have you bragged about the eternal hope that is yours? Our God is worth bragging about. Whom do you know who needs to hear about his goodness? The hymn is Wonderful by Halder Linnaeus. Wonderful is my Redeemer. Praise his name. And from the Gospel of John, chapter 4, verses 14. Whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. And this is your daily devotion for Friday, October the 14th. Have a blessed day.